It's your boy Sid and welcome to the Dallas Cowboys for Life channel. Guys, I know it's been a minute since I've done a video, but I want to thank everyone for taking the time to view and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button below. Now guys, the reason why I haven't done a video in a minute was because of the fact that the Dallas Cowboys rumors were pretty much being repetitive. Um, I know there's been certain uh, contract talks and um, meetings back and forth and with that being said, once again, there was a rumor about the fact that the Dallas Cowboys are going to give uh, Dak Prescott the exclusive uh, franchise tag. And then there was another rumor that came out that the Dallas Cowboys have pretty much said that they want to get Dak's contract done before free agency. Now, guys, um, the free agency now, the unofficial but true start of free agency um, is the legal tampering period, which begins on March 6th. 16th. That means the Dallas Cowboys have 14 days to get Dak Prescott's contract done. Do you guys believe that this will actually happen? Um, there's so many rumors going out there. There's rumors that Dak actually wants a short-term contract. There's rumors that he wants a long-term contract. There's rumors that he doesn't want a lot of money, but he wants a big guarantee. Guys, I need to know what do you guys think is really going on with the Dallas Cowboys in the negotiation um, with Dak Prescott's team. I've asked this before. Do you think that Dak Prescott's agent is the one who's causing all this turmoil between the negotiation with the Dallas Cowboys? And there's been other rumors to say that the Dallas Cowboys haven't met or spoken to anybody since last September. There's so many rumors going on. Do you guys believe that the Dallas Cowboys will do the right thing to get Dak Prescott's contract done before the free agency um, start date. Let me know what you guys think. Now, Byron Jones, they've told him, they've met with them. There's rumors that they've finally said, yeah, Byron, we're letting you go. You could free, hit the free agency and uh, he wants to get paid, so he's probably going to go elsewhere. I'm okay with that. Uh, I've already said this before. I don't think that Byron Jones has been uh, a big deal for the Dallas Cowboys in the last two years. He hasn't had an exception in the last two years. Um, I don't think he's the right fit for the Dallas Cowboys, so oh well, move along. Uh, now, Mike McCarthy in his interview, I, I saw an interview with him and he's vocalized that uh, he wants to keep Omari Cooper and Randall Cobb. And there's been rumors that the Dallas Cowboys have met with um, Amari Cooper's represent representatives. Uh, sorry, guys, if I didn't pronounce that properly. Um, and that they want to do everything they can to keep Amari Cooper with the Dallas Cowboys. I hope so, because I honestly have my jersey ready to be shipped back and get a refund. Because I just bought that jersey. So I really hope the Dallas Cowboys do the right thing to keep Amari Cooper. Now, Mike McCarthy has vocalized that he would like to keep Randall Cobb. So... I said to myself, you know what, Randall Cobb, Des Bryant. Now, who would you guys like to see more? Would you guys do you guys think that Randall Cobb is the right move, or would you like to see Des come back to the Dallas Cowboys and maybe see Randall Cobb uh, released? Uh, now, I went to see stats. Now I know that the last time the Des played was in 2017, but I just wanted to compare stats. So Randall Cobb in 2019, now keep in mind, Randall Cobb is 29. He had 55 receptions, 828 yards, and he averaged 15.1 yards, and he had three touchdowns. 2017, Dez, now Dez is 31 now, keep that in mind, 69 receptions, 838 yards, 12.1 averaging yards, but six touchdowns. Now, I I've seen... Uh, Dez's videos that he's releasing about his workouts, you know, and a lot of people are saying, oh, Dez is not explosive as, as he used to be. And, you know, we haven't seen him on the field. We haven't seen what he can do. Um, I, I, I believe that when you're doing workout videos and when you're actually on the field, it's two different things. Now, I want to say, in my opinion, again, when I do these videos, all these things are my opinion. I have to say that I find that Dez brought a lot more excitement to the Dallas Cowboys than Randall Cobb did. Let me know what you guys think about me saying this. Who do you think is more exciting on the field? I've watched videos. I went and watched highlights. I have to say, 
I don't know. I think Dez just brings more excitement to the game. Let me know what you guys think about what I've talked about today. Um, do you think the Dallas Cowboys will sign uh, Dak before the free agency? Are you guys shocked about the fact that the Dallas Cowboys have let Byron Jones hit the free agency? And who would you rather see, Dez or Randall Cobb? Let me know, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below. It's your boy Sid, and I'm out.